First responder calls are giving us new insight into a brutal shooting in the southwest suburbs. A father accused of murdering his wife and three adult daughters. Our Jermon Terry has stayed on top of this case for days. He is now in the control room with what we've learned from the newly released 911 calls. Jermont. We knew police said Mahar Kassam called 911 and was accused of killing his wife and three daughters. Now, the 911 call reveals that he only made mention of his wife and never mentioned the three daughters that he was accused of killing. Tinley Park officers were the ones to walk into that house and discover that this was a gruesome mass shooting. As Mahar Kassam sits in jail charged with four counts of murder, he is likely the only person to offer an explanation as to what happened at the family home in Tinley Park. In newly released 911 calls, you hear his demeanor after 16 shots were fired. Tinley Park 911. Yes, you want to send me out, please, sir? I just, uh, we have a big incident there. Somebody got shot. I'm sorry, you said you need an officer because somebody got shot? Yeah. The dispatcher tries to get clarification on the severity of the one victim she knew about, yet the caller police identify as Kassam is less than cooperative. Who got shot? Just, just the federal police. Sir, please answer my questions. Who got shot? My wife. Your wife? Is she conscious and breathing? The caller hangs up. I tried to ask him questions. He wasn't cooperative. He finally said that his wife was shot, and then he disconnected the line. I'm going to call back. The dispatcher never gets anyone to pick up again. In fact, by the time Tinley Park officers arrive, police dispatch reveals how they found out this was not just a wife shot. You know, I have multiple people now with gunshot wounds, et cetera. Mahida Kassam and twin daughters Halima and Zahai and third daughter Hanan were all shot multiple times. We have one detainee and... Four females down with gunshot wounds to the head. No signs of life. Kassam is accused of killing his family over an unknown argument. And so this is intimate family violence. This is where we talk about what's behind closed doors. No one knows but those individuals inside that home. Aitudel Shalaba with Arab American Family Services, a domestic violence advocate, stresses the murders have led to misconceptions. This is not about faith. This is not about culture. Now, a family member of the wife tells me that there was constant verbal abuse going on in the house and that Kassam's wife even contemplated leaving many times but stayed for the sake of the children. Tinley Park Police say they had no calls to that home prior to that quadruple murder. Reporting in the control room, Jermont Terry, CBS2 News.